and welcome to your reading. I hope you're all doing well. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone. Okay, so let's get started. What message do you have for Virgo, please, Spirit? What message do you have for Virgo? <clears throat> message do you have for Virgo, please, Spirit? What message do you have for Virgo? Please, Spirit. What message do you have for Virgo? Okay, the world in the reverse so there's some unfinished business between you and another person someone not being able to move on from a connection could be you could be the other person someone that needs to change something but they're resisting that change so we're gonna see what that is okay the spirit for virgo what message do you have for virgo temperance so there's some imbalance here someone's not balanced the connection could, could also be that it's not balanced okay this is sagittarius the eight of wands so someone will reach out to you vice versa expect communication very soon okay and the page of cups okay for me the page of cups is um the apology card when it's in the reverse is someone who um might have done something okay but because of ego fear or whatever they're not able to come forward with that apology okay so if they communicate it's going to be a small talk maybe you know but they're not going to express maybe how they feel for you okay there will probably not be a lot of emotions in that communication Okay, so for Virgo, please, what message do you have for Virgo? Three of Pentacles, okay. But someone is willing to work on things, okay, if they're not, if they haven't been able to move on from this connection, okay. They probably know that they caused an imbalance, something that was not balanced, okay. Okay. I don't know if there was um, something that was done to you that was not fair, vice versa, some injustice that they they feel that they should apologize but not doing it, okay? But they're willing to collaborate with you. They're willing to work on things, wanting to get together and maybe fix things between you. Okay? We'll see. So we're going to clarify. Okay, please, Spirit, what message do you have for Virgo? Okay, engagement ring. This is beautiful. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Okay. So this could involve engagement, okay? wanting to um, come with you, okay, be in union with you. <clears throat> okay, what message do you have for Virgo, please, Spirit? What message do you have for uh, Virgo? Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Okay. There could be some hesitation, okay? So with this communication, maybe they want to invite you. They say that they want to meet you, okay? They want to get together with you, okay?
So have faith. Okay, it's coming. Okay, please spirit for a Virgo. Seduction, okay, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. Okay, so there could be a third party here. That's maybe what caused the imbalance in this connection. <clears throat> if there was a third party, maybe someone realized what they've done, okay, they might have regrets. They need to, you know, come with an apology. But again, because of ego, fear, you know, they might not be doing this at this time. Okay? But they're not able to move on from this connection. Even though if they are with a third party here. Okay. Keep the spirit for Virgo. Girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist, being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. Okay. You might have your walls up, you know, if it, this person was not being honest. Okay. It could be vice versa. Could have some boundaries. Okay. The other person was being charmed. Okay. By someone else. So, please, Spirit, tell me what it is I need to see. Vote, okay? Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah. There's like unfinished business between you two. Difficulty moving on, okay? But arriving, I feel that someone might want to travel to come and see you, okay? And get together with you and collaborate. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So we're going to clarify the world in reverse, okay? Okay, spirit for the world in reverse. Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is like player type of energy here with the Knight of Wands. Okay. It could be someone that has a lot of passion for you, but when I see the Nine of Wands, it's a, you know, for me, it's a player, okay? So, someone was a player here. Okay? Being with a third party, not being honest. Okay. Holy Spirit for Virgo. Four of Cups. But this player is not happy here without you. Okay. They're not. They have not been able to move on from this. Okay. And they're like focusing on their unhappiness. They're stuck being unhappy. Okay. Probably they rejected you or vice versa. Okay. They've realized what they've lost. So they're doing a lot of thinking here. About what was done okay about the situation so please spirit why is the world in the reverse knight of pentacles okay so they might want to offer you if that's what you wanted commitment something more stable okay they might you know because they have not moved on from you they, they're still thinking about you okay and what they've lost they might want to offer you that commitment finally okay but this is like a very slow moving offer so it's gonna take some time so patience is required here for this okay so for temperance, we're going to clarify temperance. Why is temperance in reverse here, please, Spirit? Three of Cups. So someone realized that, you know, this caused an imbalance, but they want to fix this. They want a reconciliation. 
Okay. Someone is not happy without you. Split spirit for Virgo. The devil. Yeah. Devil energy. Toxic energy here. That's why there's an imbalance here. Okay. So this person is also not balanced within himself or herself. Okay. Could be you. Could be the other person. So it could be obsessions, third parties, codependencies, um, fear, addictions, okay? So energy, you know, player energy here. Yeah. So not being balanced within, you know, himself, he, this person caused an imbalance within the connection as well. So, why is uh, temperance here for a Virgo in the reverse? Why is temperance here in the reverse for a Virgo? Please, Spirit, why is temperance here in the reverse for Virgo? Why is temperance here in the reverse for Virgo? The Eight of Pentacles, okay? Someone was not putting enough effort into this connection. Okay, <clears throat> that caused an imbalance. Okay, with this toxic energy, not putting enough effort. Okay, giving more to another person. Instead, you know, giving more to another person instead of giving into the connection so they want to reach out okay so let's see for the eight of wands what is going on here why is the eight of wands here please spirit for virgo why is the eight of wands here high priestess so secrets okay someone could be very spiritual here Someone who's going to start following their intuition, okay? They're going to go within and follow their intuition, what feels right for them, okay? And they feel that it's right to communicate with you. However, the high priestess is not showing, you know, is not going to show the emotions here, okay? So this communication, it might be some small talk for now. Nothing big, okay? Not emotional. Okay? They're going to hide their emotions from you, okay? Until it's the right time to, to reveal them. <clears throat> so the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Please do it. The Chariot. Okay. So this person here, okay, is not moving in the, the right direction, right? They might want to tell you that, you know. With the devil energy here, <clears throat> toxic energy. They're obviously not, you know, moving towards you. They were moving away from you with someone else, okay? They were not going in the right direction here, causing this imbalance. This is, okay, I'm going to tell you the signs. We have Capricorn here, okay? This is, Chariot is Cancer, so you could be dealing with any of these signs. It doesn't have to be. You could have them in your chart. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please, Spirit? Queen of Pentacles. So, Virgo. This is your card. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So this person, you know, wants to communicate. Or now they want to, you know, it of wants could also be, you know, movement. So now they want to, after, you know, moving away from you, now they want to move towards you and communicate with you, okay? Now they're focused on you. They're not focused on someone else. 
okay? This is very grounded energy here. A nurturing mother, very nurturing, very stable. Okay. She's um, also a mother figure. So the Page of Cups here in the reverse, we're going to clarify. What's the Page of Cups here in the reverse, please? Okay, so yeah. Some sneaky energy, right? And they got caught. So you probably know about this or vice versa, okay? Because when it's in the reverse, it's someone who, who got caught, so yeah so they feel that you know or you might be waiting for that you know it's in the reverse because you are waiting for this person maybe to apologize to you because you know what happened you know about this behavior okay so you're probably also waiting for them to apologize but they're probably not doing that Okay, why is the Page of Cups here in the reverse, please, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is thinking about it, though, okay? They're thinking about the next steps, okay? How to move forward. So they're heavily thinking about this, okay? How to do this, okay? Probably they're thinking also, how you know, where to invest, you know, Thinking about you and like, should I invest, you know, am I going to get anything in return? What is in it for me? So they're thinking about that or you might be thinking about that as well. You know, should I go back to this person or not? Should I invest again? Should I give them another chance here? You know, after, you know, they betrayed me. And wanting, you know, it's like, well, I'm waiting for this apology that is not coming. You know, should I, you know, come back to this person after what they've done? Okay, so Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here in the reverse? Conflicts, competition. Okay, so maybe when you communicate, okay. If there is communication between you two, that might create conflicts, misunderstandings, you know, misinterpretations. Maybe you want for them to say certain things that they're not saying. So you are you have, you know, certain expectations that are not being met. This is also the card of competition, so, you know. There's another energy here. Okay, so three of pentacles. But this person is, you know, does want this reconciliation. They want to work on things here, okay? They want this union with you. They love you, okay? And they want to come towards you with them. With the boat card here okay so let's clarify was it the, why is the tree of pentacles here please spirit judgment okay so this person is feeling the consequences of their actions because they're in the reverse so they have a lot of regret they probably realized that they were not putting enough effort into this okay giving to someone else now they're willing to work on things okay they're willing to get together with you and collaborate because they have realized what they've done with the judgment card here and you know they're feeling it they're feeling it now they have realized maybe the grass wasn't greener on the other side okay 
and if they want to come back to this you know that you to you who is very nurturing very grounded very stable you know they realize what they've lost so three of pentacles why is it three of pentacles here please spirit star yeah they have hope for this connection beautiful hope and you know they want to heal things they wish to be with you. They've realized that. They've realized what they've lost and now they wish to be with you. Or vice versa. Okay. So they want to heal this. Why is the tree of pentacles here, please? The wheel of fortune. Yeah. Because they're not able to move on from you. This is like... <laughs> The same thing, you know, we're like getting back to square one. That's exactly what it means because this person is not able to let go of you. They're thinking, they're still thinking a lot about you. They have a lot of regrets here. Okay. They want to heal things. They want to heal this talk. You know, they'll have to heal the, the toxic energy. Okay. I feel that they might be resisting okay this change here. But I you know they're they're they are wanting to do that. Because we do see the tree of pentacles here. We do see the star here. This is Aquarius. Okay, we had Aquarius as well here. <clears throat> And we do have engagement, you know. <laughs> Maybe this person is going to eventually propose to you. But this takes, I, I feel that it's going to take a long time, okay? So patience is required here because, you know, maybe he's still in this player energy. So he needs to change his ways, you know. He, he needs to heal himself first and, you know, then heal the connection. Okay, so that's it, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated and see you next time. Take care. Bye.